Hi there, how's it going? So today's video is going to be kind of like a continue on video from the sauna whitening skincare video that I just posted. So that is like my full morning time routine, but you know me when it comes to skincare, I really like to be extra. So I was looking for a good mask to incorporate at least a few times a week while I'm doing that full Japanese skincare routine. So not only was it going to work well with the sauna whitening products, but also take the skincare routine to the next level. So I know that there's a lot of masks out there, but the key ones that I wanted to use that I felt like would go really good with the sauna whitening line was the rice mask. I am a big fan of the skin food mask. This is a Korean brand uh, skin foods and this is called the rice mask wash off. It's just like a simple wash off mask you can put on and then you can lightly exfoliate your skin after. And I've used this so many times and I mix in a little bit of matcha powder with it. I usually use the matcha powder with it, but but now that I'm doing this Japanese skincare routine, I really wanted to focus just on a basic rice mask I could use. I did want to do a comparison on two products because I did finally pick up a Japanese rice wash off mask and this is the Kiana Rice Pack. So this one is also the same concept. It's a wash off mask you leave on for five to 10 minutes. So first I'm gonna apply the Skin Foods one. This one I've already used many times. The consistency, thicker, pasty with grains of rice. I mean, it's not too, too thick. So I'm just gonna apply a thin layer to this side so you guys could see. And this one's super soothing. It goes on so nicely. So this is usually how much I would apply. It looks a little bit different when you mix it up with the green tea powder, but it's just like a simple grainy type mask that goes on very smoothly. So this is the Skin Foods one on this side. Compare, since this one I haven't used as much, the rice pack. I love the packaging too because it's so like mess free. It's a little bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this much. This one to this side, more finely ground the rice it still has the rice little particles in it but it's look how smooth it applies it's like a paste or like a frosting this one is definitely a little bit more chunkier okay so i applied both of them the same exact way with the same amounts as evenly as possible but you could still tell it's a little bit patchier and thicker this rice pack the japanese one definitely is smooth like a frosting leave this on my skin for about five to ten minutes and i'm going to go ahead and rinse it off when i do rinse it off i like to do circular motions to make sure that the grains of rice can work started to wash off this one it's definitely a lot thicker and the rice chunks are a lot harder so it's a good exfoliator so when you really do work it into your skin it can be a mild exfoliator as well and i do feel like my skin is silky soft after this one um also too what i find with this one though is that it does rinse off a lot easier this one in consistency is definitely a lot smoother the rice particles are definitely a lot more broken up and softer in this one so that's why it applies so like paste like um, and when you're washing it off this one it doesn't exfoliate as much it just kind of sticks there so it's a lot more moisturizing and it takes a little bit more effort to rinse this one off so I was um, working this into my skin as well and I don't feel like it really makes any difference as far as exfoliation wise but it's a really good pack and I could tell that it really hydrated my skin so just be a little bit of details first we'll start off with the skin foods rice mask wash off so this one is supposed to nourish and brighten skin it's a brightening wash off mask with rice bran water and a smooth skin texture while moisturizing skin leaving it soft and bouncy so this one is recommended for normal to dry skin and again you leave it on for five to ten minutes after the five to ten minutes you wash it off with cool water and you can gently exfoliate it into the skin to make sure that you get the most out of the product and you also get that exfoliation that mild exfoliation and the brightening of the skin. Alright, so moving on to the Kiana Rice Pack. Now this is actually the second mask from the line that I have tried. I'm already a really big fan of their sheet masks, the packs that come with 10 rice sheet masks. And this brand in general focuses on pore care. So it's not only supposed to nourish your skin, but it's supposed to help shrink and reduce pore size. It contains a rice serum to help the pores and to help the brightness of the skin. It prepares the texture of the skin for plump, smooth, and elegant skin. I do find that these type of packagings are just much more convenient i feel like you can squeeze every last drop out of it once you're done with it you can really get it out uh, this you can obviously get every last drop because you uh, scrape it 
out. But um, the more wash off masks you have, the more jars you have, and it's a little bit more difficult and space consuming to store in your bathroom or on your sink. Um, these are just really easy and convenient to just take. So I just wanted to point that out. Doesn't matter the packaging, I know it's about the product, but there are very different when it comes I to did apply both masks this morning and then I followed up with my last three steps from the Kiana Whitening line. And I do feel like slowly but surely the pigmentation that I have been seeing from being out in the sun, uh, it's a little bit hotter, um, is a little bit fading. This is one of those key ingredients that's very gentle at brightening the skin, just like soy milk or um, fermented soybean because it's not so harsh. Again, I, have, I explained this in the other video, but vitamin C, I know it's supposed to brighten the skin, but if you are a sensitive skin type girl like me, you can it does brighten, but it does irritate as well. So I find that using skincare that contains the ingredients, rice, soy milk, fermented soy milk, wheat, barley, a lot that's found within Korean and Japanese skincare really help to gently brighten your complexion and lighten hyperpigmentation without being too harsh if you have sensitive skin. Or if you tried these rice masks or any other types, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. I will definitely check out other types of rice masks because I know there's a lot out there. And if you do like these type of skincare videos, let's uh, give it a thumbs up. Forget to subscribe for more skincare videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.